First on our list is the belief that whistling on a ship can stir up a storm. This superstition has its roots in the days of sail, when a sudden gust of wind could spell disaster. Whistling was thought to challenge the wind itself, tempting fate and potentially bringing about a tempest. Next, we have the superstition that having a woman on board a ship is bad luck. This may seem outdated today but for centuries seafarers believed that women would distract the crew and anger the sea gods. However, there was an odd exception to this rule. It was considered good luck if a woman was naked on the ship. This was believed to calm the sea. The third superstition is the belief that it's bad luck to change the name of a ship. Once a vessel has been named and christened, changing that name is seen as a slight against the gods of the sea and sky, who keep a ledger of ships' names. Seafarers often believe that it's unlucky to kill a seabird, especially an albatross. Legend has it that these birds carry the souls of dead sailors, so harming one is considered extremely unlucky. The fifth superstition is the belief that bananas on board a ship bring bad luck. The origins of this superstition are unclear, but many seafarers swear by it and refuse to allow bananas on their vessels. Next, we have the superstition that saying certain words or phrases on board can bring about bad luck. These include things like drown, goodbye, and pig. To avoid the bad luck, seafarers would come up with other words or phrases to use instead. Lastly, it's considered bad luck to start a sea voyage on a Friday. Friday is considered a day of ill omen, and starting a journey on this day is thought to anger the sea gods. In summary, superstitions have played a significant role in seafaring life, shaping the behaviors and beliefs of sailors for centuries. From whistling up storms to women on board, changing a ship's name to killing seabirds, and from bananas to forbidden words and unlucky Fridays, these superstitions provide a fascinating glimpse into the fears and hopes of those who spend their lives at sea. Remember, whether you believe in these superstitions or not, they serve as reminders of the respect seafarers have for the unpredictable and often dangerous nature of the sea. After all, when you're out on the open ocean, it's better to be safe than sorry.